far. On the way, we will do a security check on a friendly armor unit. This training will be performed from the pilot's position. Note, for viewing clarity, the HDU monocle will be set out of view while using the cockpit multipurpose displays. You will be reminded when to toggle it back before flying. For simplicity, when backing out of a display page by pressing a previously pressed push button, that action will be stated in the audio and text, but the push button will not be re-highlighted. Unless otherwise indicated, most highlighted button presses and spacebar pressings will immediately forward less than the next step. Listen fully to each set of instructions before taking the action that will move the lesson forward. When ready to continue, the Tactical Situation Display, TSD, is the main tool for navigation. Typically, this display is shown on the right multipurpose display. Under the right multipurpose display, press the TSD The default TSD setting is Tactical Symbology Superimposed Over Navigation Chart. The navigation chart display is very useful. However, for clarity, in this training flight, we will use the digitized elevation map. Press push button B4 map. You are presented with four options, DIG, chart, SAT, and stick. When ready, press the spacebar to continue. To select Digital Map, press Optional. To give the chart contour color, press Push Button L4 Color Band, then Push Button L4 again, ELEV. When ready, press the spacebar to continue. Next, to adjust the information shown, press Push Button T3 Show, then press Push Button this page sets specific data the TSD will display. Various control measure points, friendly and enemy unit locations, planned threats and targets. Use the left push buttons to ensure all the choices are highlighted. Push button L2, control measures. Push button L3, friendly units. Push button L4, enemy units. Push button L5, planned targets and threats. When all are highlighted, press the spacebar to continue. Finally, back out by pressing push button T6, cohort show, and then push button T3, show. When you're back on the main TSD page, press the spacebar. You will need to add points to the TSD by using the Point Add function. These points go beyond simple navigation assistance to provide situational awareness and tactical support. To start, select Point by pressing Push button. Points are divided between four types. Waypoints, points on a flight path. Hazards, obstacles to be avoided. Control measures, Positions that aid in directing and coordinating forces on the battlefield, as well as the locations and types of friendly and enemy forces in the battle space. Targets and threats. Known hostile equipment such as SAMs, AAA, and other units that can be targeted by or are a threat to your Apache. Points can be added, edited, or deleted. In this lesson, you will add several points to the TSD. The lesson will go step by step in detail for adding the first point. The following points will use the same procedure one point at a time. The lesson and knee board will provide the data to be entered for each. When ready to continue, press the space bar. Each point has an identity code that you will assign. Press push button, T4, A. The first point entered should be the home airfield or FARC. You are at an airfield. On the right side of the 
AVR page one under general control measures, find Airfield General. The ident code is AG. Press push button T4 AVR to back out, then press the spacebar to continue. To enter this point, begin by pressing push button L2 add. On the left side of the display, there are now four selections for types of points. WP, HZ, CM, and TG. An airfield is a control measure, CM. To set the identity code, press push button L1 ident. The display of the keyboard unit, KU, will show ident. Using the KU keys, press A, G, followed by enter. Next, the KU display will show free. Enter a replace free text to help you remember the point. On the KU, enter your choice of either KUT or GKU. Then press KU enter. When the free value is entered and you are ready to proceed, press the spacebar. The KU display now shows MGRS coordinates starting with the square identity code KM followed by eight digits. The blinking cursor is on the first digit. The center of the airfield is KM 91977258, ground elevation is 148 feet. MGRS square code KM is showing and is correct. With the KU, enter 91977258 and then press enter. When you have successfully done this, press the spacebar to continue. The KU display now shows the elevation for this point as 148 feet. On the KU, press enter. When you have done this, press the spacebar to continue. Looking at the TSD, you will notice that the symbol for AG has appeared in front of your position along with the free code you gave it. Press the spacebar to continue. Bring up the kneeboard and page back several times until you see the training lesson keyboard titled TSD CTRLM data. To enter other key points for this navigation training flight, you will follow the same procedure executed for the home airfield as listed on the yellow post-it stuck to the kneeboard. When you are ready to begin entering the remaining points, press the spacebar to continue. Enter the point for FARP GOL. Type is CM. IDENT is FC. Add the remaining data from the kneeboard car. When you complete, press spacebar to continue.
next into the point for a radio tower hazard near waypoint 2. Use HZ type. The tower is less than a thousand feet high, so the ident is TU. Add the remaining data from the kneeboard card. When complete, press the spacebar to continue. Part of your mission is to check on a friendly armor company near Waypoint 3. Type is CM. The ident for a friendly armor unit is AM. Add the remaining data from the Nebor card. When complete, press the spacebar to continue. There is an enemy SA-13 launcher in the area. This is a threat target type, TG. The ident codes for Russian SAMs are simply their NATO code number. Ident for SA-13 is 13. Add the remaining data from the Nibor card. Back out of the point page, press push button B6 to the main TSD page. When complete, press the space bar to continue. To see all the points you just added, expand the TSD map view using the up arrow. Push button right one. Then use up and down arrows to adjust the view to your liking. When ready to continue, press them. the final step in configuring the navigation is to set waypoint one as your current waypoint. Press RTE, root, push button B5, then DAR, direct 2, push button left 5. Note that WP01 is at the push button R5 position. Press push button. The TSD is now set. Move the HDU monocle into view. You are ready to continue. Press the spacebar to begin flying. Head straight Rotor for waypoint low. one. Rotor On the HQ, low. the navigation fly to Q, the home plate symbol, is straight ahead. Place the flight path vector over it to fly direct to the W01 waypoint. Note the heading tape and the command heading chevron is centered. W01 distance time remaining, and ground speed are at the bottom left of the HDU. Remove this message by pressing the spacebar.
You are approaching waypoint one. As you reach inside point one kilometer, 100 meters, the system will automatically switch to waypoint two. To navigate to waypoint two, turn in the direction of the command heading chevron and center the flight path vector over the Fly2 cube. Note the HDU and TSD have updated to waypoint two. After you have steadied on a heading to waypoint two, press the spacebar to continue. As you near waypoint 2, you should notice a hazard point labeled H04 on the TSD. This is the radio tower. Again, when you reach 0.1 kilometers, you will automatically be stepped to waypoint 3. Head to waypoint 3. On the TSD, you should notice a blue NATO armor icon with BCO next to it. This is the friendly tank unit. Fly by it.
you are in active pause as you approach within 500 meters of waypoint 3. The next step is to fly to Farp Gall. On the TSD, press RTE, push button B5. Select DIR. Use collective grip function, cursor display selection button to put the cursor on the right in PD. Move the cursor over the FARP icon, press collective grip function cursor enter to select FARP goal as your fly to point. When you have accomplished this, press the spacebar to continue. Press push button B5 RTE to back out. In the HDU, you should see C52 as the point identifier. To resume the flight, when ready, press the spacebar. As you did before, use the HDU, command heading chevron, and fly to queue to head for the FARP. As you get close to FARP call, a green flare and green smoke will mark the site. Fly to the smoke and land. Press the spacebar to remove this message. You have successfully flown a simple navigation flight aided by points you added to the TSD. Press escape to end the flight here or continue flying.